Welcome to Sin Cafe. Today, we're going to do loaded mac and chili cheese truffle skin baked potatoes. That's right. You heard us. Chili cheese. Chili mac and cheese baked potatoes with truffled skin on the outside. So we begin by heating our oven to 325 degrees. Afterwards, we take our beautiful happy potatoes and we poke some holes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. With our happy dandy fork. And then we set our fork aside and we take our happy chipotle chalua and a good hot sauce to give it a liberal dousing as we take your happy truffle salt. There we are. That lid was on really tight. And then, well, before you do that, first you want to make sure you've got a nice EV covening of chipotle sauce. Then you can take some of this, pour it out in your hand, and give it a nice liberal coating. And then let it sit for about 20 minutes. And afterwards, you put it in the oven. So basically the time it takes to preheat your oven is how long it takes for your potatoes to marinate. Rinse, wash, repeat for every potato you want. And there we go. Leave it to a cat to always find a way to show up in the middle of your video. So, to make our mac and cheese, we use a happy box deluxe organic. We add butter, sour cream. This time, some more aged organic cheddar. Half a jalapeno, fresh. Um, the equivalent of that as pickled jalapenos. One green onion and essentially one small vine ripened tomato chopped and you throw these in to your mac and cheese after it's done cooking and you've mixed in the cheese sauce and then you're gonna take the other jalapeno half you're gonna dice that up as well you're gonna dice up the equivalent of another half jalapeno of discs and another green onion and another little small vine ripened organic tomato. These are going to be used for your final toppings when the potato's done. So we've prepared some chili ahead of time. Very similar to the recipe we used for tacos except we used a lot more. We added adobo chili. We used a lot more chipotle chili. And we let this simmer a lot longer with a good bit more chicken broth. Now we've got our mac and cheese here that we've already sauteed with our tomatoes, our jalapeno, our green onions, and basically a half pound of aged golden cheddar. And it's right about time to give that a stir. We prepared it, of course, as per box directions, and then spruced it up with the addition of our own bit. Makes it quite easy. And let it saute until parts of it even get a little golden brown. And there, there's your mac and cheese. Even 
a mac and chili cheese truffle skin baked potato would not be complete with just the right amount of bacon to dust across the top in the end with the rest of the toppings. So, we've got our beautiful thick sliced uncured bacon here and we're going to throw that in a nice happy cast iron skillet that as you can see is very much on the medium low side because you want to slow render your bacon you get better flavor and it's so much better it cooks just as well there's some people who are crazy who like to burn their bacon you might as well not eat bacon just eat a bacon flavored piece of charcoal and be done with it but with that said we take our happy bacon and we throw it in the pan. Straighten them out a bit. That unfolds. Quite nicely. And so we add to this some black pepper. So you add to this some crushed black pepper and you're going to want to flip that after about 10 minutes pepper the other side let it go for another 10 minutes. It might take up to like 25 minutes, but the difference in flavor and texture is just going to blow your mind. But you really have to get high quality, real bacon, not like substandard stuff with all the chemicals because that's not really bacon. Anyway, bacon. We'll come back to this in a minute when it's done. Now, after 20 minutes, you have this beautiful happy bacon. And you take your tongs that you've washed after you initially put it in. Before you flip it even a single time, you want to wash these because cross-contamination is bad. So, that said, take your beautiful happy bacon. You can see as we flip that that it's beautiful. It's got both crisp and just a little bit of tenderness to it. It's been flawlessly rendered as opposed to bark to a crisp. And so you take this and you put it on your beautiful happy plate and you let it cool. So it appears the cats escaped again. I mean, look at those little paw prints. And, you know, cats love bacon. So always remember, keep your cats away from bacon or your bacon away from cats. Otherwise, the cats will eat all of your bacon. Or at least their entire weight in it. Lucky for us, this one's tiny. So... You take your beautifully rendered bacon here and your happy knife and you slice it just like this. So very wonderfully.
there, we have wonderful happy bacon because because loaded potatoes just aren't loaded potatoes without bacon. Because it's just not the same without bacon. So there's a crazy variation on this. We've got this beautiful bison organic base burger that we've just braised our bathed in the remaining bacon grease with a little bit of some wonderful amber beer. So once we've simmered our wonderful, happy frankfurter of organic bisonness, we take it and we make it suitable to be part of a potato. Now, how we do this is like this we take a wonderful, happy knife. slice right down the middle of it just like that and cut almost all the way to the skin and then you go of course cross-sectional just like this and cut almost all the way to the skin and then Turn it, slice one, two, three. And what this does is it ensures that when you place this beautiful frankfurter inside the potato, which is now your bun for your dream dog. Mm. Ever since I did those mac and chili cheese tacos. I've been dreaming of how to incorporate that into some other crazy cool things. There's another product of it. So, hi. So, you cut the dog this way because this allows it to happily live inside of your wonderful, dreamy, baked potato. Oh my. And become something brand new entirely. And this way, when you cut through the baked potato and then slice with your knife and fork, you get happy little distributed pieces. Hi. There you go. So take it, put it on a plate. It's ready for potato. Dream time. Now it's rich and creamy, ultra dreamy potato time. Oh my. Look at those bad boys. They are so ready. So you take this and you put it up here as you get ready to dress this gorgeous dream potato. Now we start with slicing one of these beautiful potatoes in half lengthwise along the median. Then we break it apart and start to fill it. So to start, 
take a little bit of butter. Throw that in there. Butter those pieces. That can be your wonderful topping for your little potato creature there. Take some of this beautiful nacho cheese. Throw that in there like that. Take a little fork, stir it around, and then take your beautiful little bit of frankfurter, put that in there, and then come over and grab some of your beautiful happy chili. Pour that on top. Just like that. And then you go over and you grab some of your mac and cheese. Put it just there like that. Grab a little bit of your pickled jalapeno, a little bit of your green onion, a little bit of your tomato, a little bit of your green onion, a little bit of your other secret ingredient from Dreams, which is some sour cream, because sour cream makes everything dreamy. And there you go. You have the Frankfurter. Fully loaded. With bacon on top. And a wonderful jacketed, crisp. Delicious, creamy, rich, truffled baked potato. Mmm. Told you this thing came from a dream. And like we say, rinse, wash, repeat. Bon appetit. Time to eat. If you're really enjoying this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.